Hi, and welcome to Santa's workshop. So, with all this stuff, sometimes it's having fun with you. But uh, you will not have it. And we'll go to this one. But as you can see, The mill is turning, and uh, so our first decoration is finished, mechanical decoration. And I have started on the next one, as you can see here. And what we are going to make is a water mill. And um, this is the start of a timbered uh, house. That was how they did it in uh, in the olden days here in the country and also in Germany. They have a lot of those. I would have preferred with if I had a picture here, but I don't. I don't. It's a wrong. I have put a picture up, but uh, it don't work. Everything is. Last week I was sick. I couldn't stand on my one on one leg, so uh, the foot was wrong. So, but uh, I'm fine again, and uh, we kind of very much behind everything. So, see, this is gonna be a water mill. And we are going to have the wheel uh, running around here, but we will build it on poles because we want to make a kind of a stream down here, and then the mill is turning around here. And uh, so I have cut all this just before we got on. That's why I'm a little behind, but uh, that's what happens. Uh, there are only one warrior in this war, and that's me. I will find a, something we can put it up against when we are. And then I will, I will change the camera just for a moment because I will change this camera. So I will remove this a little bit. So that we can see what I'm doing. And I will go back to this one. And I will adjust it a little bit. Where is it? Here is it. Whoops. Like this. Right, so now you can see what I'm doing. Yes, see, the idea is it has to stand on this uh, like oak poles, but uh, you can see there's not much oak in this in these poles, but uh, that's what we are doing. take these two guys and so we can hold it and we will glue them all together so we get a and then we will put the house up on top of it when we have finished but now I forgot to put the needle in the glue so now it's dried We'll try again. It works. So here. And
we will take this one. So that we are sure that the ang is alright. This now. Und until some of them are dry. because of my problem with the food we are kind of behind so I, d I guess if I'm lucky I will get this finished before Friday before and then of course we will keep on doing it next year because then the season is over So at last, we will have a whole Christmas village with water mill and drain and mills and running around and what else we can come up with. But we will not buy anything. Yeah, we will buy the wood and uh, do and what we need, uh, motors and so on, and uh, they will come. We will put a motor in this one too, and uh, we have one more, a similar one that's the, that we also put in the mill. But I had a, just before we got on, I had I had a little problem with the mill because the rubber bond. The rubber band you buy nowadays, they are too old. They are more or less rotten before when you buy them. And when the, they have them in stock so long, they kind of go bad very fast. And then I had to get a adjustable power supply too, because I put a kind of a gearbox inside it, a little one inside the mill. First, I have hoped that I could just uh, use a resistor, and I could turn the RPM down on them, but uh, they are running 5,000 uh, RPM, so I had to uh, get them down a lot, and I could, with a resistor, I could only get down half the speed, so that was not any good or maybe not even a half the speed. And then I made a gearbox, but still I had to, to, uh, to buy a power supply, because I will need it to this one too, and uh, all the stuff we make this and I I had one for uh, I have an old B and O one I used when I was a technician at B and O for the but that was burned up I can't uh, cannot really get the part anymore. So a new one, and this one can take. Uh, you can draw up to ten amps on it, so it's a good one. 
so we can put everything we do make on it because the fun part of this is that we will make it like they did in the olden days when you got down in the department store or the toy store or something like you see sometimes in the movie Home Alone, they have some scenes in it with So, that was the first row I missed when, in olden day, when you went into town and saw all the great decorations. You could stand staring at them for hours. But yeah, they are too expensive to make or hire or whatever they did. And they don't even have decorators in the store anymore. They do it themselves. So. That's a shame. But then we can do it ourselves. It is not very complicated. Just a lot of sticks and a little idea how we want to do it. We need some more glue. <coughs> and then just try. Where is my glue? Who took my glue? Admit it. It's here. Mm. And it would be some nice thing to do uh, along with the kids because they would love it. And I know you first have to get them out of the of out of their rooms and away from Minecraft, but. Uh, When they first get the idea, they think it's fun. And they will remember it when they get older, even that if they don't show that much, much of an interest now. It will. I have grand grandkids, two grandkids, and And when I do stuff like this, they say, yes, fine. <laughs> where is the computer? And where is the iPad? Where is uh, Minecraft? And so on. But when they grow up, they will remember we made this. and hopefully make it for their own kids. Or when I'm gone, then they will find this on the attic and, and say, wow, there's some fun stuff.
I remember that, they will say. Hey, something in my eyes. I don't know what, but something. Looks like the flute. And then I will put some styrofoam up, up along the sides so it looks like it's built in a, into a little uh, hill side or something like that. You don't need all the tools I have for to, to do it. A little uh, saw and some glue and so on. Maybe a little sandpaper. And make a drawing first so that you know what you are not. Uh, in this case, I made a drawing so that I. Have an, uh, have an uh, idea of the measurements. And most of all, the scale, how big it has to be. Because in this case, I have to make it big enough to the motor can be inside it. So the motor kind of took the decision for me. <coughs> and then everything else kind of was determined by that. See? Oh. Can, oops. They are trying to phone me. I used to that I'm not on in this last week then I forget that I'm sending every evening. See now I have to be careful I will only I will spare this one because I don't I'm not totally sure how it will fit. Uh, how many I need. I just made a bunch so that I was sure that I had enough. And 
good thing about this. It don't take that long to dry. Or oh, not totally dry, but dry enough so that you can move it and get on with your build. And we will take one from there too. And the good part with this is that you can take these out every year and keep on building on them. As long as the kids are in the age where they find it nice and cozy in the morning and come up and some festive stuff so and we will spare these for a little while until we see how uh, how it get along with this one shall we see if we can raise it You have to be very careful. Maybe this is not totally doable. It is. You won't. See how it goes. So Oops. It's not that stable, I tell you. Okay. See? It was good that I didn't put that on yet. <coughs> ha! That's what's happened when you but I couldn't get it done before we would got on so we have to take it easy. <coughs> Maybe it helps me by squeezing a little. But 
it has to be careful when you squeeze it because they are out. Yes, don't. We have to be patient. No way around that. But in a little while they are manageable. And what do we do? See the we will make the hole through here. And then we have to make the that's a big win wheel and a window in here and there and a door in the other side. And of course a roof. But I will cut the roof uh, on tomorrow. But I think that we will make a short one this night and then um, Stop here and then continue tomorrow. I uh, apologize for being late, and but uh, we cannot uh, really get any longer now. And uh, but tomorrow we will get longer. And uh, because today I was out uh, getting a Christmas tree and uh, other stuff, Christmas present and so on. So. It's a busy time, but um, and tomorrow there will be no uh, uh, kids workshop because we want um, we want to concentrate on this. I want this one to be finished this week, on uh, and we only have to Friday. So Friday evening will be the last one, and then we will not send any more this year. So, but I will say. Bye and thank you and hopefully see you again tomorrow. Bye.